It is a pleasure to welcome you all today to an event which combines two of the passions of the Fair Share Foundation. One is collaboration and the other is interfaith. Our conviction is that collaboration between charities, faith communities, and business is key to securing the greatest possible impact in these difficult times. It is wonderful to see the enthusiasm from right across London to share ideas and harness our collective dynamism for the common good. This event is an opportunity to develop an intersector dialogue on the critical issue of youth provision, an area facing some of the greatest challenges in the current economic climate. And yet, few areas could be more important to get right than nurturing the next generation. We are meeting seven months after riots shook this city. And nothing could excuse some of the appalling behavior that we saw. And yet, one fears that a lack of hope or prospects could drive even more young people down a destructive path. However, it's important to remember that the vast majority of young people stayed at home on those turbulent nights in August. And I'm particularly pleased to see how many young people we have here today. Your presence undermines the, totally the idea that your generation is apathetic. Today will be clear proof to any doubters that we can be proud of the youth of this city and that with the right support, we have every reason to be optimistic for the future. It is our hope that through conversations you all have today, the relationships that spring from them, new ideas, new models, new partnerships will flourish that will empower all of our work. If we are going to reclaim London together, we could have no better allies in this task than the faith communities, business, politicians, charities, and of course, the young people themselves. Today is not an end in itself, it's a means. In the next couple of weeks, as Robert just mentioned, you are going to get a link to a survey, and we will seek to capture some of your reflections on today. Over the coming months, we will also welcome some of you come back into smaller groups to keep this conversation going. Please do fill in this survey, and most importantly, make the most of today. I spoke earlier about partnerships, and I would like to thank our own partners, the Faith Forum for London, for the energy and enthusiasm that they have brought to this task. Getting 27 faith leaders from nine faiths to work together sounds very easy, but I am continue to be impressed with the way that you do it. And I'm proud to call myself a supporter and would call on others to give their support for this wonderful organization. And I hope that you continue to go from strength to strength. And now it gives me great pleasure to uh, introduce our first speaker. There could be hardly a better person to talk to us about working together for London than the man responsible for running it. And I'd like to share, and I hope Boris doesn't mind, a, a personal story. Oh, dear. <laughs> you can see a deep sigh. Don't worry, it won't be too bad. I must say, when, we, when Boris first became mayor, it was, um, I think, the first few days you were in office. And we had a chat, and he said, come over for lunch. And we went downstairs to the cafeteria. And Boris was talking about what sort of legacy he could leave London. Remember, he had just, just started as mayor. And of course, we all know about the Bendy bus. And he had plans, I'm sure, about the regeneration of East London and all the other things. But really, that's not what we were talking about. What we were discussing was even at the time, it was 2008, wasn't it? It was sort of the beginning of the financial crisis, but it was quite evident at the time that things were not going to get better, certainly not for a while. And the question was, 
he didn't have and wouldn't have and wasn't going to get any, and still not today, the sort of funding that would be required to deal with all the issues that he would love to deal with in London. So it's, the question was, what could we do about it? And he started to think a little bit outside the box and said, look, the best thing that we can do is get people together. Try to get the, there, because there's a plethora of organizations doing fantastic stuff all across London. There are businesses that care. There are people in government that care. How do we get them to work together to become more efficient by that collaboration to have a greater impact with the little resource that they had? So as we started this conversation, came up with the idea of doing the Interfaith Conference for London, which happened last year. And I have to tell you, it was prescient that we started to have these conversations back then, but even more prescient what happened when I walked into his meeting with Alex, you'll recall, we went into a meeting uh, in, in Boris's office on a Monday morning with the mayoral team. And the Friday before, I had a fantastic, enthusiastic meeting with one of the CEOs of a great organization doing work all across London. And they said, Maurice, we know something you should be focused on. You should focus, go and tell Boris, you should focus on the homeless because there are seven to eight hundred organizations in this city focused on the homeless. And I was really enthusiastic because I'm a businessman and I think about efficiency. I said, fantastic, what an incredibly inefficient thing to have seven to eight hundred organizations trying to do the same thing. So I came into that office on Monday morning and I stood up to make my presentation and I was passionate about this. I said, I've got it. This is, this is the thing we're going to focus on. And I, and I spoke about this. I'm sure it's waxing eloquent. And I sat down and Boris looked at me and he looked around the room and he says, I, I hear you and there are some fantastic things that need to be done. Many, many important areas to be focused on in London. But I actually think that where I would like to spend my time and focus, and I think you should do so for this event that you're going to do in terms of getting people together, focus on youth violence. And that was, I don't know, seven, eight months, I, I can't remember, before the riots happened. So for me, besides all the big planning things, what you need is foresight. And fortunately, we have a mayor who has that. And I would certainly look forward to your remarks today and what things you have to think about the future for this great city. So with that, may I please welcome Boris Johnson.